My dear fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Ravindra and I will be the Sergeant and Arms for today's meeting. So first of all, I would like to welcome you all for our 482nd Oracle Trailblazer Toastmasters meeting. I hope I'm audible to online audience. So first I would like to uh, give a wishes for Deshara, for everybody, and also our for our ninth anniversary of our Oracle tra Trailblazer Toastmasters. We, we give it to our... So before we start our meeting, we have a few ground rules. So let us... Don't follow the rules. <laughs> Let us treat each and everyone with love and courtesy. And uh, while speaker is speaking, do not cross talk. And most importantly, please keep your phone phones in silent mode so that there will not be any distraction. And also, let us we can speak about sex, religion, and talk politics, but it should not hurt others' feelings. And Coming to goal of the Toastmaster. Sorry. So everybody in our lives have goals. Likewise, in our Oracle Trailblazers also we have goals. So our goal is to provide a positive learning experience and friendly environment to improve our communication skills and leadership skills. So with that, uh, today's our uh, Postmaster of the day is uh, Postmaster Joseph, and uh, he will be telling about the our experience, past successful experience, how how the journey of Postmasters went on for the past nine years. So, and before that, I would like to call our president, Postmaster Dinesh, to take the stage. I hand over my responsibilities to the AD. Uh, today. Uh, president role is taken by Toastmaster uh, Sai Shailu oh. okay. and he's also area director of our yes. club. Not your club. For the entire area <laughs> yeah, G2. Yeah, yeah. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much Toastmaster Ravindra. Can we have a huge round of applause for our dad? First of all, I wish you a many, many happy returns of the day. We all turn nine. Trailblazers <laughs> to Masters turn nine yesterday. So thank you all of you for your support and dedication till now. And special thanks to the pillar of our club, Toastmaster uh, Joseph, Toastmaster Narayan, and Toastmaster Ahmed. Thank you so much for laying the foundation and taking the club to this level. Now I can see we have a lot of guests also. Uh, sir, would you like to please introduce yourself? Yeah, please. Hi all. Uh, I am uh, Abhiman R. Kulkarni. And uh, I don't know about this postmaster, just my friend uh, Ravindra Lamini told me about this. And I thought of today, anyway, I have work, but uh, he told me just come and, you know, just uh, have a look. So I can. So let's see. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, would love to have you here. And yeah, that is the beauty of those master. If we have work also, we come open our laptop and continue with the meeting. Thank you for having me. That's it. Now I can see uh Manshi Jain. Would you like to please unmute or turn on your video and just give a short introduction of yourself? Manshi? Uh, yeah. Uh... I will need to turn on my video. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I hope I'm visible. Yes, yes, you're audible. Please go. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so uh, I am basically new in Toastmasters. I've heard about it, but I, I have never experienced uh, it. So uh, that's why I came. I thought of joining it in this organization. And uh, I hope uh, this session... Uh, makes me join it yes so 
Definitely, definitely, Vanshi. We would love to have you here. Hope you get all the learnings from our today's session. Thank you so much. Vanshi. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Just a refresher, and for the guest coming here, I would just like to tell what is Toastmaster and who we are. So, Toastmasters is a platform where we learn public speaking and leadership skills. It started in the year 1924, and today. We are celebrating 100 years of Toastmasters in the world. We are present across 148 countries. We have above 3 lakh plus members, and we have uh, 14,000 plus clubs across the globe. And we are Oracle Trailblazers, operate from Oracle Tech Hub. We meet every Thursday, 3 to 4:30, online as well as offline. We have a Slack channel as well. Please join that. And if you want to take membership, please go ahead. Our enthusiastic VP membership sitting here. Please catch hold her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today, as we are celebrating nine year of Toastma Trailblazers Toastmasters Club, today we have a very important person who will take us to the journey, how it founded and what all went through that. He is one of the strongest pillar of our club and the founding member of Trailblazers Toastmasters Club. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome Toastmaster Joseph. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you all doing? All good. All good. Very good. I, I was uh, a little bit impressed by the by his introduction that I'm the strongest pillar. <laughs> I, I don't know whether there's a hidden uh, insult also because strongest pillars are usually the biggest, roundest <laughs> pillars. So maybe there is a <laughs> backhanded compliment. But thank you anyway, it is a very nice um, introduction. Um, let me ask a question. If you go to a shop, and you buy something, what is it that you generally buy if you go to a shop? Something very common. Just give me an example. Ice cream. You bought an ice cream, okay? You, huh? <laughs> Vegetables or whatever. So you paid, say, 100 rupees. What if you got your ice cream by the time you came home, you found it, it's spoiled or it's not, uh, it's not, it's not good. What will you do? Return or will you go, go back to the shop, you'll fight with them, something like that? No? You'll, I'm talking about uh, you going to a shop and doing it. You bought something from the shop, or you bought vegetables. You found that, that there's a lot of what do you do? You're not happy with it, right? Keep that in mind. That's something that I want you to have. Now, how did this club start? This is nine years ago. We had a few kids. I will call them as kids. They were like fresh out of college, full of energy, full of spirit. They wanted to do. They had heard about Toastmasters, but they didn't want to. They didn't know how to form the club. So these three, three to four kids were actually just getting together and having these kind of informal meetings. We had a couple of informal meetings, and then we got to know about it. Some of senior folks. I forgot the name of the gentleman who he was from your team, right? You don't remember the guy who Balaji Gopalan. Balaji Gopalan. Yes. So there was a guy who was a DTM. He also found out that these guys are having these uh, informal secret meetings and he said no 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 they can't continue like this let's make it formal so that's how this trailblazers club came together we got 20 members 20 people with a passion to learn how to speak how to become leaders and we came together and formed this particular club yes i was fortunately unfortunately one of those 20 at that point in time now we are nine years later and what is the number of our meeting how many meetings have we second Hmm? 482. 482 meetings, not a small number. It's an amazing achievement. And uh, uh, clap to all people who are coming. There are a few members which I'd like to specifically thank Abhinav and Narayanan, who has been there from thick and thin. I was there only for the thick. Whenever we came, then I left. <laughs> and now I've come back. Now, after this many years, there is one thing which I have come to understand. That Toastmasters is a complete waste of time and money. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't utilize it properly. Okay. So this is a pause. You learn about pauses when you're... <laughs> so this is a dramatic pause <laughs> to give effect. You, those who are members here, you are paying money for getting some benefit. 
make sure that you get the benefit. That is what I'm linking it back to the question I asked. When you go and put some money into something, make you try to get the best value out of it. So similarly, any member, I request a humble request. I want all members to ensure that the sheet, the tracking sheet is full for at least three weeks. You need to push yourself. I know I am completely unprepared. I am doing this TMOD as a TT master. <laughs> I am doing it completely impromptu, which I was able to do because I have come to Toastmasters meetings earlier. So you need to spend some time. I know it is difficult with your time. Even for me today, I have practically only five more minutes before I need to jump into another meeting and I'll come back later. But this is something that you need to do. I, I have always given this example. It's like learning to swim. There are some things where you can read and learn. You can see someone else and learn it. But this particular skill of having an ability to talk in front of people confidently, comfortably, is something that you need to develop. It is like jumping into a swimming pool. You cannot say, you can always see from outside and see someone swimming, but you will not be able to swim unless you actually jump into the pool and swim. So this is something which is a challenge with everyone. Everyone has their challenges, but you have put in your hard earned money for a particular reason. Your hard earned money or those lucky of you who are able to reimburse it, <laughs> Oracle's hard earned money into, into this. Okay. But make sure that you make the best of it. I will give you a very good example within this club. There are two people who kind of joined, three people who have joined in the same time. I am one of the people who are coming in the latter who did not make use of it. I am still in my level one speech. Whereas my colleagues who are here have reached DTM, they have put that effort. And it is an amazing effort and I have seen them earlier and I've seen them now and I know the difference that they've, they've come to. The way uh, you, you'll be lucky to hear today at least one of our gentlemen, Narayanan, is going to give a speech again, which is always a pleasure. I hope I'm back in time to hear it. But this is the thing that I want you to do. We have a sheet. This is for members. Mainly I'm talking to the members. Of course, guests, please use this opportunity. You all guests have the opportunity to come and take part in table topic topic. There's something called table topics. Coming to the structure of the meeting, we have three parts in a meeting. Any meeting, Toastmasters meeting across the world will have three parts. One is called prepared speeches, where someone will come with a speech or with a prepared speech and they'll present it to everyone. Second is called uh, table topics. Table topics are those impromptu speeches where someone will give you a topic and then you will be able to, um, you need to speak for a minute or two. The third is evaluation, a very critical part where the people who have spoken will get the feedback, telling them what they've done well, what they haven't, what they could improve. And this is also a very key aspect of this particular thing. Without much ado, I would call upon uh, the other strongest pillar, <laughs> I would suggest, uh, who has been key to make this club reach its 480 seconds. I don't think this would have reached without these gentlemen who are here, especially Abhinav. I know he has been there through thick and thin and he has made an indelible mark in this club. Okay. So, the most creative member of this club who will be taking the role of a GE, he will explain his role along with his team. Thank you so much, Abhinav. I think about pillars, you can't have one pillar. <laughs> Otherwise, we will literally collapse. Okay, a pillar can sustain. You will have one pillar can sustain for some seconds and it will collapse for sure. So, a club is sustained, it can't be possible with just one person. It will actually have to have four pillars. <laughs> right? Even three will collapse. So, not just me, there are many people who are there who have not been with us throughout. But they did their part in between and maybe left after that. Because of those fail basers, we are still here. 480 second meeting today. I joined Windows 75th meeting. So 400 meeting plus I have attended. I did for the first time, I was just 50th meeting. I didn't join for six months. Because I didn't feel the need. Then I reached 30 and then it is okay. It's too late now. I should join something. It will be too bad otherwise. We can count numbers of weeks have passed with them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today I have been the role of general evaluator. My name is Abhinav Bhatt and I have a team with me called the tag team. What we'll be doing, we'll be observing the meeting from the beginning till the very end. How everybody did. And this happens every meeting. No matter which, it was meeting number one or meeting number four, it is second. Because we are, we, those persons we, we assume and we know that 
everybody makes mistakes. Just that we have to don't make the mistake. Same mistake again next week. Again. We'll try to improve a point every week by week. Again, like to help me with all the roles, we have a top time by called uh, a new person who joined our club recently, Dr. Shelly. Can you just help? We have to get it you know, online today. Hi guys, so I am a timer today and we have three uh, prepared speech we have. So for prepared speech we have 5 to 7 minutes. So for 5 minutes I will be raising the green card and for 6 minutes I will be raising the uh, yeah. yellow card and for 8 minutes it will be a red card. 7 minutes it will be a red card and then in 30 minutes you have to wrap up the speech. 30 seconds. 30 seconds sorry. You have to wrap up the speech and then the, for the evaluation we have 2 to 3 minutes. So for 2 minutes I will be raising the green card and for 2.3 speeches uh, examples are like so you know long pauses or as so i will count all of these in your speeches and give my report at the end thank you thank you last not the least we have a uh, role called grammarian i'm pretty that is played by dr shravendra <laughs> As a grammarian, uh, I will be listening to the speeches and as well as table topics. And whoever is speaking here, I will listen to him. And uh, I will note the good usage of English and not good usage of English. So, and at the, at the end of the session, I will be giving the report. So, it's my responsibility to give, to give the word of the day. So, for today's word of the day is indelible indelible i n d e l i b l e so which means impossible to eliminate or forget or change so example is indelible memories uh, or uh, an indelible performance so another example in his 20 years working for the company joe made an indelible impression on it Okay, so and phrase of the day or idiom of the day is think on your feet. So which is which means to make a quick decision or give an answer quickly. Example when you are called on in class, you have you have to be able to think on your feet. So I would like to uh, ask you to use the word of the day and uh, idiom of the day or phrase of the day during your speeches. So, thank you. All right, I hope today's ninth anniversary meeting is an indelible mark on everybody's mind. Think on your feet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, we'll come back at the end of the meeting again with our report with my tag team. Back to you, Toastmaster Vedic. Now I'm think, trying to think on my feet. <laughs> we start off with uh, the prepared speeches. We have two for today. Uh, the first speech is going to be done by Karthik. Uh, the topic is Welcome to the Leadership Club. It's going to be evaluated by Dinesh. Yes, Dinesh is there. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Sayakash, is it? Dinesh. Dinesh is there. Okay. So Dinesh. 
Yeah, Dinesh. So I request Dinesh uh, to please just mention the uh, objectives of this project. Thank you, Toastmaster Joseph. Uh, so the target speaker today is Toastmaster Karthik, and he would be attempting his L two P one project. The pur purpose of this project is for the member to identify his primary leadership style. The purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspects of his primary leadership style or discuss leadership styles in general. All the best to you, Toastmaster Karthik. Back to you, Joseph. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, masters, my dear friends, guests. October 2019 was the time when three of my former colleagues ran with me on a marathon. They completed their first full marathon with me, and at the end, huffing and puffing became overseen. Thank you, Karthik. You made this possible. Because of your coaching and support, we could do this. And I was less huffing and puffing, but equally elated to see that I could play a good role and share a memorable experience with them. And that got me hooked. So I thought, why not use this in my career as well? So at that point of time, I decided I will, I heard a very catchy phrase, servant leadership has everyone, anyone sort of that. So um, it, it means uh, the leader who serves the team like a servant does for and meets the objective of the team. So. That's what I make out of it. So that's that was something which I wanted to inculcate. And I took the role of uh, leadership from that point on. So I had two things in my mind. There is one style called servant leadership and one very unpopular uh, authoritative or bureaucratic uh, leadership style. So these were the two styles of leadership I was aware of. And for me, they were like poles apart contrast of each other. Has everyone heard of these two? Yes. Okay. Has everyone uh, favors any over another? I don't like bureaucratic leadership. Okay, I don't like bureaucratic. Everybody <laughs> likes servant leadership. Okay. Anything in between? Is there anything in between? Depends on situations. Depends on situations. So, yeah. So I, at that point of time, at that situation, I knew only these two and black and white. And I thought I'll take up the servant leadership and I started. So two years later, uh, two years of me taking on the team uh, team leads role and then again two years after engineering manager role and one year in Toastmasters taking the dynamic leadership role, uh, I came to the conclusion I was completely wrong. So it can't be two things, like there are no two genders, there are multiple, there are no two styles of leadership, there's a spectrum of different styles in between which I got to learn through experience, which I learned in dynamic leadership pathways here, which I would like to share today. That said, let me go back. So I started on my journey as a team lead of that team, a team which was capable enough to stand on their own. Each one was an expert in their area. And for me, I played the role of a democratic leader, a leader whose main skill is to collaborate, listen to everyone, uh, drive a consensus and put that as a mission for the team or a objective for the team. And it worked well. For two years, I was happy doing that. And I took the decision two years later, let me take the next step, engineering manager. Let's do that. So I came here, I did engineering manager with the same similar kind of team. It worked well until four campus IS came in. <laughs> So people are laughing when they understand my scenario there. Okay, so campus IS, they need a different kind of treatment is what I understood. Because when I tried the same democratic leadership with them and asked them, what is your opinion to solve this problem? They were like, blank. Of course, they will be blank because they are new. How will they know? So I had to change the leadership style to something which is called coaching or it's also called... Uh, coaching, mentoring, and uh, affiliated one. So um, what happens there is that we have to plan a personal, personalized pathway for these folks so that they can upskill. And because each of them were different, they needed a different kind of treatment. And in one year's time, they were able to upskill and meet the same bar as different 
other members of the team. So that also worked well. So I was happy. Okay, I tried something different, a coaching leadership style which worked well. Okay, let's carry on. Till few months later, I realized that few members were doing well, few members were not doing well. In fact, many were doing well, few were not doing well. And at that point of time, my leadership style was more of uh, affiliate into one, which means that I had, uh, I was good at motivating, I was good at building personal relationships, and I was not good at handling conflict. I avoided conflict, I avoided giving uh, constructive feedback, negative feedback, and I avoided topics of performance. So my, my manager caught this. He said, in my one-on-one -on -one with him, Karthik, you're being very nice. You're being too nice. Your primary objective is to make the business run. That means that you know, being nice is coming in that way, but always remain kind, don't be too nice. So I had to realize that the people who are not performing well, their work was being done by others, so they were overweight. If one of them leaves, it will add more burden to the remaining members of the team and eventually it will be a vicious cycle which may crumble the entire team. So I had to take on the role of an authoritative, bureaucratic leader role at that and speak my heart to those members, make them clearly aware of what is expected and also provide support how they can reach. So that is the way in which I had to play the role of authoritative bureaucratic leader. So now, up till now, I have not been good at that as much as I like to, but that is an area of improvement for me as well. And there are various other phases of leadership styles in between. For example, there's also something called pace setting. There is also something called innovator, which works well when there's a need to solve a complex problem in a short period of time. So I would like to leave you all with a quote by a very distinguished American psychologist and an author who is famous to put this word, uh, uh, coin this term, not coin, but popularize this term of emotional intelligence. His name is uh, Dan Gurman, and he says something like this, if I remember correctly, the best leaders do not have one skill of leadership. They are good at many and they are flexible to change between them to meet the demands of the circumstances. With that, I will leave, take your leave and welcome to the leadership club. Thank you so much Toastmaster Karthik for sharing your leadership journey with us. And it's very apt, like you weaved it very perfectly with the quote of the tag or the tagline of Toastmasters, like where leaders are made and you beautifully crafted that. Kudos to you on that. Can we have a huge round of applause? Now it's time for our second speech. And before calling the second speaker, I would like to call on the evaluator. Today, the evaluator of the second speaker, Toastmaster Narayanan, is Toastmaster Sai Akash. He joined Oracle a year ago. He's a big foodie, and nowadays he's trying to revive his long reading habit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Toastmaster Sai Akash. Thank you, Toastmaster Shahabu. Today I'm actually elated and scared as well. I'll be evaluating Toastmaster Narayanan, soon to be distinguished Toastmaster Narayanan. In his first speech of his ETM pathway, I would say, uh, the purpose is for the member to demonstrate his or her skills as a leader and a public speaker. And the purpose of the first speech, I think this is first of yes. second uh, two uh, two part speech, is for the member to introduce his or her plan and vision. This is that's all from my side. All the best, Thank you. Thank you so much, Sai Akash. Just for the audience, I would like to tell. The Toastmaster Narayan is going to attempt his DTM speech that is Distinguished Toastmaster speech. After completing this speech, he will get the DTM title, Distinguished Toastmaster title. After completing all the leadership challenges and roles, now it's time to take up on a project and to reflect his vision and thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our second speaker, Toastmaster Narayan. He a trailblazer for nine years now, past club and district officer, yet to face a real time Phoenix moment, but has stepped foot in the heap of ashes every now and then. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Toastmaster Narayan. Toastmaster Narayan, the show down. Okay, I'm done. Lights, okay. Sounds, sounds on. Camera, camera ready. Take one. Project show down. That's the Toastmaster. Toastmaster, the day, very Toastmaster, my dear guest. Typically, this is how you see a, a movie reel getting shot. Somebody sh uh, shouts out light, somebody watches the sound, the director says action, and then the scene is getting captured. Uh, looking back today, when I was going through the script nine years in this club, uh, it's been an absolute fairy tale for me. So what would you expect in a fairy tale? Typically in a fairy tale, you go to a movie, what do you expect? You talk about a screenplay literally runs around somebody called the hero. Nowadays, a lot of hero and subjects. And apparently there'll be a villain and then the comedian and then the character artist so long and so forth. And the most important thing is the happily ever after part that lines out the climax and you come back very happily home. So this is how typically uh, a, 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 a fairy tale or a movie goes. My journey in these nine years uh, has been absolutely nothing short of this fairy tale. Um, I've had, okay, this time I can probably call myself the hero. I've had a good number of uh, friends to help you with. I've had some villains here and there, a lot of comedians and a great number of character artists who were still around me to help me wherever I want. And this has almost been, uh, this, this club, the way the club has thrived for nine years through the thick and things, um, has definitely left an indelible mark on my professional and personal career as well. The reason for that is, last week I was talking to one of our club members and said that we do not compete with each other here. The beauty of this club, every club, if you go to, uh, if you go to other clubs, every club has got its own USP, you know, the, the, the selling formula for every club. There are some clubs which are extremely formal. People come there only with code suits. They have their meetings only in five-star hotels. They charge you about 3,000 for every session. We've been there also. And there are some clubs which are like absolutely informal. They come with shorts, t-shirts, right after the gym. There is one club in uh, California where uh, people go surfing in the morning and they come with that surf press with a board with a sandy foot and they come into the middle. A lot of clubs there. Our, the USP of this club is um, this club sticks together come what may. We have been through the best, we have been through the worst. We have shot eight points in the first four finals. We have had uh, almost ticked all the boxes except the golden gavel one, which hopefully will come this time. So, yeah. Uh, we have been through the worst where we had only six people in the entire conference room where two people taking three rows and also doing speeches. We have been through, but then we are still here. And the reason behind is because of people like you. Beyond the sessions, Beyond the speeches, beyond taking those milestone months, uh, we have the samosa moments, we have the quick moments, we go to each other's housewarming ceremony, we attend people's right. marriage, which I'm not really sure if we do for somebody else who is working with us in our own team, which gives us the bread and butter to spend money for this membership. Unfortunately, unfortunately, today's corporate world has become more competitive where instead of having people as, tea, uh, as colleagues, we just become uh, co-workers. That's it. Um, I was one of those guys, uh, I've been in Oracle for 17 years and I carried experience of 20 years now. Looking back at my first job and the way today, in the first job, people were ready to help me out. I helped others. Today, when I see somebody is going to have a slight edge over me during the next session, the thought that is, the thought ideally should be like, oh wow, this person is going to propose this, this meeting. This is a good thing. Where I come to is, if this person is going to present this thing, he will score his brownie point. What will I do to get a brownier point the next session which I'm going to have? So it's become more of a competitive basis and that's how it is going to be in a professional circle of life. Uh, in Toastmasters, after completing the uh, club roles as a club president and then managing the area as the area director, uh, we had opportunity to come to the to run the uh, division contest. Now, for those of you who do not know, the division contest is going to be a slightly bigger 
contest wherein people who qualified from the area contest moved to the division contest. So my division director at that time, this technique was called the Harish Jayarama, he still works in Morgan Stanley. He calls all the four ELA directors. And then he said, division contest is coming up. And ladies and gentlemen, don't tell this outside. I'm one of those great people who will first shoot and then ask why didn't I shoot later. I said, hi, I'll do it. Without even getting to know the full, I said, I'll go, Harish. He then smiled at me and said, you have to do for division J and K together. I should have kept him more quiet, no? You should do to, you should only eat what you can. I said, uh, okay. Hey, let me try. Okay. And out of the four era directors, my co-ADs, two were slightly uh, dominant, I mean, kind of dominant kind of people. The other one said, I'll help you, Narayan. You do this. I'm there for you. Great. So that's how it go. It, it started off. And uh, March 10th, 2019, the MC comes to the stage. And then this is how she, uh, a very skilled Toastmaster, by the way, she said, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, District 22 Division JNK presents you the man behind today's show. I was like, oh my God, what is going to do? <laughs> the one man behind everything. Please welcome to us, Master and the conference chair. For <laughs> what happened in the division contest is like a lot of cheers, some tears, a lot of bond mummy, some backstabbing, a lot of uh, random people who became my contacts in my phone till today. And a lot of people who were in the school who faded away. A lot of blood, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears. Uh, I'm trying to attempt myself to be calling distinguished Toastmaster. Now that's a title which I believe should not be got, but should be earned. When you see I'm a distinguished Toastmaster, you got to be much better. Now, am I good enough to be called a distinguished Toastmaster? Not really sure. You guys will tell me maybe after a few more weeks. What really happened that day? What did they learn? How, when did the planning go? Am I good enough to be called Distinguished Toastmaster? Is this just a trailer? Picture, picture be baki hai. Back to you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Narayanan. I can easily resonate with you the way you said, like we have a USP of sticking together as a club. Mm -hmm. So I remember when I joined Toastmaster, Trailblazers Toastmaster Club specifically, I only joined because of the bond we share each other. I like the way I greeted as a uh, guest and all. So that I can really resonate with you. Thank you so much for this speech. Can we have a huge round of applause again? For our <laughs> now, before moving to our next section, that is a table topic section, I would like to share some aspects on a number nine. Trade business Toastmasters Club turn nine. You know, there's a significance of number nine in Hindu mythology. Can someone tell? We have Navgre, Navratra. 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 Yes, and also nine symbolize the creator, the Brahma. And also when you multiply nine by any number, it will come nine. That's why we chant one not eight times, one thousand eight times. When you add it, it's nine. Yeah, it's auspicious. And also it marks the completion, not the finality, but completion of one phase and starting of a new phase. And that's very apt with our club as well. This time we turn nine and this time we have reached the highest membership till in the nine years. And also we are getting two budding DTMs, Distinguished Toastmasters. We already have Distinguished Toastmaster Abhinav and soon to be Distinguished Toastmaster, Distinguished Toastmaster Narayanan. So these all are the symbols of nine and also if your birth date, suppose if your birth date is uh, 18 or 27, if you sum it up, it will come 9. So it will say that whose birth date sums comes to 9. They are very fiery, they are very courageous and they don't easily accept the defeat. And that's all the beauty of 9 and it's with, it easily resonates with our club as well. Can we have a huge round of applause for our Trailblazers Toastmasters Club again? And this is a top performing club in the area G2. And I can say one of the top performing club in division G as well. So kudos to all of you sitting here. Now it's time to call on stage. The
table topic master of today's session is none other than Toastmaster Sai Akash again on stage, please. Thank you, Toastmaster Sai Guru. That was an amazing, amazing speech, Toastmaster Sai I couldn't wait to congratulate you on that. So coming to the table topics session for today, uh, for the benefit of the guests, I'd like just like to go through the rules of this. It's a simple, pretty simple game and or a game or a session. I'll give you a topic. You have to speak on it for one to two minutes. One is the minimum time you should speak for being eligible for a prize. Uh, the timer will be showing a green card at one minute, a yellow card at one and a half minutes, and a red card at two minutes. And she'll be holding it up for the next 30 seconds so that the person is aware. So, yeah, that's the rules. and. Without any further ado, any any volunteers for today? No, no. I was okay. hoping they would pick up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So just a warning. These are some probes which I have picked up and just trying to emulate the contest which we had so that can, people can understand the practice for it. So I'll give you a very simple one. The early bird catches the ball. And this is simple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I can relate this the early uh, bird catches the worm to the today's uh, competitive word for uh, 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 both Narayan sir and uh, Karthik were talking about. When you are uh, good at something, uh, you try to develop a skill in that and be uh, on the top of it. So when there is an opportunity, you can just grab the opportunity, beat any skill. Like I can give, uh, you are leading uh, AI. Now when we are leading uh, AI, if uh, the pressures are coming in and they are into AI, that's where the future is now. So they can just uh, grab the opportunity and uh, start performing. So, uh, I'll uh, try to relate the early bird catches the worm in this manner. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Any other volunteers? Anyone online? Any. Oh, any next? Next. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one. Uh, learn to walk before you run. Okay. <laughs> before you run. Learn to walk before you run. Learn to walk before you run. Okay. Okay, thank you. So, the meaning of this uh, phrase I understand is uh, you should go step by step. Like, you can't go to a 10th or 20th step until you go one by one. So, my understanding is that uh, you cannot pass the process before you reach the destination. So it can be uh, thought that, uh, I mean, you cannot enjoy the fruit until you take the hard hard work. So I would like to speak on uh, on that only. Like if you want to be successful, you have to go through a lot of failure step by step. So let's say if you want to be successful in leadership or in communication, uh, if we take example of any communication journey, you have to go speech by speech, give level by level, that's how you become better. Uh, so I think yeah, that is what uh, I uh, thoughts I have on this. And on, uh, I think on the personal experience, I would say that uh, like I've been working for like uh, 12 plus years. So if you look at any technology, uh, maybe I changed company four times. Uh, so before reaching to any kind of, uh, you can say that before you become expert, you have to take uh, all kind of projects. They may not be interesting always, but you have to take them because uh, in order to reach the destination, all kind of projects has to be taken. Yep, yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Master Anik. That was in sync with, I think, Karthik's speech today. Really nice. Any other volunteers? Sure. A single tree cannot make a forest. 
A single tree cannot make a forest. Right. So as I understand, I've never heard this phrase before, but uh, as I understand a single tree cannot make a forest, I think signifies the fact that we all have to work together to make something happen. And that, yeah, I think, perfectly encapsulates what's happening today right now and all the uh, speeches we heard today as well. Unless we all work together to build something, we cannot get anywhere. And I just joined Toastmasters this year, uh, Trailblazer specifically this year. But uh, from the stories that I've heard today, I can see that so many people have put in their efforts, their blood, sweat and tears and everything to get this club to where it is. So that's one of the best examples that I can uh, think of right now for uh, how a single tree cannot make a forest. A beautiful forest, that's what has been created here today right now. It's an amazing space where we all can express ourselves. We all get the opportunity uh, to come up here, speak, improve our skills, try out different, different projects. And I don't know what not, like every single, every single thing that you want to do in your real life, if you're scared of it, you can just come here, create an experiment, see how it goes. And if it goes well or not, you will have the support of the people around you, all the other trees, part of this forest. So yeah, that's what I make of it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Master Bachani. That was lovely giving the session for today. <laughs> Um, so yeah, any, any other wallet just for the rest. Online, one she would like to take a chance for Maria also there. Maru, anyone? Jitendra? Abhip sir. Oh, Abhip sir, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyone new? Uh, any guests? Any guests? No one? Oh, one should, would like to take it provided? No, no, not yet. To kill two birds with one stone. Okay. Next word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sai Akash, to killing two birds from a single stone, which means you are targeting two tasks at the same time. And it's very apt. Like what we are doing now, it's killing two birds with a single stone. I'm working on the project itself, and I'm also sitting here and attending a trade business Toastmasters meeting as well. So for me, it's like that. If I share my personal experience, I'm an overthinker. Suppose I'm doing something, but in my mind, something else keeps on going. So I can't even concentrate on one thing. Even if I'm sleeping, I'm thinking, okay, yesterday what I have I had done, tomorrow what I have to do, all these things. Even in my area director role now, I can say it's not only about managing. It's about you have to go into the ground and you have to really work on that. So I can't just leave my uh, club aside or any of the club aside. Every day of my work starts with Toastmasters and ends with Toastmasters. Whenever I work, I open another tab, which is of Toastmasters only. Either it's a dashboard or it's a tracker. And this contest season, I'm one, of, one of the tab is OCI tab, where I'm working on Oracle Digital Integration. And the other tab, I'm just checking, OK, the registration is going on, or the role takers, or the budget is going on and on, or what else. So this is a very apt topic. and. Yeah, I must relate it with killing two stone with a single bird, or uh, sorry, or killing an infinite bird with a single stone. Thank you, and back to you. <laughs> thank you, Toastmasters. Really, thank you for the dedication to Toastmasters. They don't have They would like to give a chance. They would like to Practice, practice. You, you should go with two hands up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this combination always <laughs> very interesting? <laughs> okay. 
So very interestingly, it reminds me of my law classes. So I did not study law, but we had a subject in MBA and we had a Popin sir and he's very famous uh, professor in MBA. So he was like a visiting faculty in most of the places. Uh, uh, law in general is a very dry subject, but you have to remember by way of the year it was passed and when it was amended and That's so on and so forth. And this was his favorite proverb. And the thumb rule in uh, law is someone will do something for you if you do something for them. So that's what you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. But in uh, the third person shouldn't, it shouldn't matter to them. So it's always the foundation like if you do something until and unless it is not impacting the people around in any way, when we, when we say any way negatively, then law doesn't care about it. And that's why I don't know if it is safe to say in this club, um, the extramarital law says that I don't care until and unless it leads to a crime which is impacting the society or in general. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Tosh Master Devi. That was a nice speech. Very relevant topic, I think I gave you my mistake. <laughs> Anyone else? We have time. I think we have time for one more. One minute. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh. You repeat the topic for online audience. Sometimes we don't get it. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> Okay, I just read a quote just a couple of hours back, <laughs> and which says, which says that if you think failure is uh, very important, or if you think that like uh, I can do something and it might lead to a crash, you should not try skydiving. What I mean to say? Don't worry, laugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> some some task in our lives are bound to fail. So it's important to realize that. So the example of the cat is basically, suppose uh, there was a very hot milk, mm. which looked like milk, but it's something else. It was maybe some poisoned milk or something. But because cat being cat, she just went ahead and drank it and died. Not even like survived, died. <laughs> so few tasks in life are there that it is opposite to Toastmasters at hosts, we should not try. And very really important to realize that uh, and that's true actually because if you do something which is uh, which might hurt you very badly, you should give it a big thought about it. Few things which are not like that are like coming to masters, attending table topics. You'll not die here, <laughs> which are okay, but for sure, certain things, some things like that which you might get by chance or by luck, but uh, they might really ruin your career at the end. Can happen like that. So be cautious about things. Take risks when you know that the end result is not death. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to take risks, but yeah, you should not go blindly behind anything. Because curiosity kills the cat. If you are curious yourself, it might kill you as well. That's what I spoke. That was a really meaty <laughs> take on that. <laughs> Anyone else? Not I won't give a hard one. Online, you watch. Online, anyone? I think I need to turn my. Are you still laughing again? Yeah, sure, I can take it. But what's the topic? Yeah. Um, just four words easy come, easy go. Easy. Easy. Easy come, easy go. Easy come, easy go. You mean money? Because <laughs> <laughs> you like this yeah. <laughs> Salary. 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 Salary.
So, life uh, is like this. Sometimes, uh, without trying, uh, if I have to go get a lottery, I mean, I've never got a lottery, but I've seen my neighbors and all picking up a lottery where they have got some sufficient good money. But unfortunately, if uh, it doesn't last through because uh, it doesn't last a long time. Uh, just the case is like easy money, I feel, doesn't last a long time. Uh, just uh, that, uh, what is it, money can be jinxed that way, kind of. That's it. I think that was a good topic. I, I just like to share a fact. I think majority of the lottery winners go bankrupt within a year or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Government <laughs> <laughs> is always winning. <laughs> Unless you have a good financial advisor. So they'll not do lottery then. They'll not do lottery then. <laughs> they don't need me. I think we're done for today. I don't think I'll get any more volunteers after this. <laughs> so thanks a lot. Back to you, Toshmaster. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sayakash. As our table topic master has thrown a lot of pro work. Let me also throw one of the quotes. <laughs> in Toastmasters, it is believed that until unless you are not being evaluated on what you spoke, you will not grow. So that's why it's not it's now time for the general evaluation and speech evaluation. For that, I would now like to call on stage distinguished Toastmaster Abhinav Bhatt. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Chalu, for taking the role as well in between the session. All right, I'll not waste too much time. I'll invite the first. Evaluator, which is Toastmaster Dinesh for Kartik's speech. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Abhinav. I hope I'm audible and visible. Yes. Yes. A very good afternoon, audience, guests, fellow Toastmasters. The best leaders don't just have one skill, skill. they have many, and they need to adapt to the skills depend, depending on you know, the consequences or the environment. That was the saying that to today my target speaker, Toastmaster Karthik, delivered. And let me tell you, with that impeccable, indelible performance, he indeed proved what a leader should be, or rather I should say, what a leader is. So let me ask you guys, what leadership is? I don't have much time, so I'm sorry. I won't wait for the answers. Let me <laughs> decode this acronym for you guys from the perspective of my target speaker, Toastmaster Karthik. So leadership. L is for lucid content. A very clear picture. The key to be, uh, you know, to deliver a, a flawless, a marvelous speech is to be very clear on the content that Toastmaster Karthik did with a very relatable content. E is for easy on the ears. Kudos to Toastmaster Karthik for choosing a very easygoing vocabulary that anyone can understand. Even the ones who are working on their vocabulary or who are, you know, at different levels of understanding English language. So it was very easy to follow the story. A is for audience engagement, which he had a lot. He would wait for the audience to answer. He would ask what kind of leadership they thought he had. And that was great. D is for detail oriented. Well, as the project suggested that the target speaker needs to do research on the different styles of leadership. 
so did toastmaster karthik with the different styles of leadership and even an explanation of how he was at different stages of that leadership r i'm sorry e is for engage again with a with the content as lucid and a vocabulary as easy the content would be engaging so great on that r is for relate by choosing a topic which all of us corporate employees go through being a leader or serving under a leader both of the stories were there s is for stage presence which i think karthik you could improve there were places where you could have implemented the stage presence was uh, the stage but could have been improved h is for an honest content where you even showed us your vulnerabilities how you were not used to the bureaucratic style of leadership but still you conquered it i is a little bit of improvement on hand gestures which i think you can uh, take it as a challenge in your next project and p is for pauses which were used very aptly with that i like to conclude my evaluation thank you back to you general evaluator thank you dr masal dinesh for such a wonderful evaluation whole spectrum of leadership you covered through your evaluation brilliant job on that now you have become total toast masters <laughs> uh kadik wonderful speech really personal speech you all the stories which you have about your own anecdotes so we all relate to it easily and everybody has faced what you are told so brilliant job on that just two parts for dinesh said when is the pauses usage it was good and not so good at places sometimes it was really good when you actually get a pause Some the pauses are required, which you do not give, and the hand gestures. Pain pointing gesture that I will tell you about. You are using your hands, but sometimes the hand got stuck at one place. Just try to remove that. Otherwise, it will be all good. Again, wonderful speech. Uh, the the quote which I like most about your speech was your manager's advice: be kind, not necessarily nice. All right. So, can you round of applause for Karthik? Next, we have. Toastmaster Sayakash for Narayan speech. What is the same thing? So yeah, I like to begin by congratulating the Toastmaster Narayan. So to distinguish Toastmaster, really loved the speech. We have a quality which keeps the audience engaged. So when you come on the stage, I feel like listening to. I know there's something on, something good gonna come up. With that said, I'd like to highlight a few other things which I really liked. You began with an analogy. When you said action, I thought you were gonna talk about some other movie. But you uh, to the characters, the hero, heroes, villains, heroines, and <laughs> connected it to your own life as you being the hero. That's that's really wonderful. One thing which I observed before as well, just realized it today while trying to focus on a few things is. But I need to go through the speech. You maintain the main flow. But at time, at some times, you digress a little. You give a very good example. The audience understands the example. Then you come back to the main flow. This is something which I have not seen much. I really loved this. My example was the types of clubs. You were, you started with the types of clubs. Then you went to surfing in California or something. And again with the meetings which happen in our club. There are few points where you digressed, made a point, came back to the main flow. Really appreciated. third point is you left it on a open end i'm still like it was a suspense in the end that we'll wait next time so nailed the two to speech aspect of it and one more thing is the good use of contrasting words in between you said there were cheers and tears there were backstabbing and i don't remember the other word oh, thank you oh yeah so this was very good i think for the sake of an evaluation i, I need to speak about a few things which can be improved there are some general guidelines of eye contact states or using the stage properly i don't think that are applicable to at this point you have done it really well people are engaged who want to uh, listen to you i think that needs it there was one thing which i want to talk about is the aim of the speech was to elaborate about your plan i think that was missing even a part of your plan was fine but i actually couldn't get away like I, there was no take away for me about what your plan was the next speech is supposed to go the execution of the plan which actually i'm not aware 
and one two moments where you spoke a little fast in that that happens when i do that that's fine and yeah main thing was the plan but i wasn't aware of what's the next part of the plan that's it and all the best for the second part thank, thank you very much so great evaluation those master player guys you covered whatever i want to cover as well pretty well so narayan it's the last second last speech in the tdm journey so across all the like series of speakers out there some speakers stand out who still uses use the git vocabulary pedagogical devices which make the speech stand out so you are again excellent that you excellent that forever you have all speeches have those those points which stand out everybody speaks for seven minutes but sometimes some jam the words comes here and there so you are, you are great at that so continuing on that again a great job you had a great start i catching start basically and you built up your dtm journey the division jnk con uh, contest which happened so look for your next speech uh, round of applause for the person and as well said that all right overall uh, okay before that i last for timer shall you tell what time is first is only one can i come there you can speak up there there is only one disqualification because i think there is some calls some areas like 30 39 seconds and everybody okay. called okay thank you so much are you shall you i like to just uh, speak out the room was block b not block c it was that you got late mm -hmm. and we missed the card as well we should have given card to her so if you come on before time it's easier to coordinate so please come on time next time Thank you, Mr. Anik, for the accounter report. Okay, so let me go ahead with the accounter report. So my video, why it's not working? Working. Okay, so I think uh, not many hours. I noted. I noted few, so I will tell. uh kartik used uh, two hours narayan used uh, four hours so i also noted okay so like i mean they used uh, these words but they were kind of intended so no they were not bad uses sayakas used uh, three hours uh devi used two hours shailu two hours avinav used three hours and a couple of shows yeah that that's all and uh, the people whose names are not listed maybe there might be two reasons whether i was sleeping or <laughs> yeah i think that that's all <laughs> so did, did i did i say two did i say two reasons yes yeah and the one i was listening to my wife instead you know yeah. <laughs> The reason could be they did not speak. <laughs> yeah, that that that's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Last year, just for the grammarian uh, grammarian report by Dr. Mr. Abhinav. So, uh, uh, coming to grammarian report. So I did not. Uh, Did not find any wrong usage of sentences or uh, words from anyone. So kudos to everybody. And uh, the I I have noted few good uh, sentences or words. So like uh, democratic leadership, coaching, mentoring, personalized pathways, affiliated, and always remain kind but not too nice. Uh, vicious cycle, and. Uh, authoritative bureaucratic leadership emotional intelligence and best leaders have multiple leadership skills and use it in a flexible way from the speech uh, and from narayan's speech i have noted few things that like uh, words like absolute fairy tale and thrived for 9 years uh, usp of the club a brownie point a brownie point you should only eat what you can And re and also really resonate with you, and impeccable. So these are the sentences and words I found in the different speeches. And uh, word of the day used by Abhinav and Dinesh. 
And the phrase, phrase of the day used by Joseph? Joseph also used the word of the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five minutes. Good part is nobody used in edible, which are indelible. <laughs> all right, thank you everybody for your all, all the support that you had. I'll just go through the overall meeting. So today meeting started at 3.04, which is good. We ought to start 3.05. Professor Ravindra started the meeting with good enthusiasm. It was about ground rules. Uh, there was some confusion who will be the presenting officer. It was mentioned on the agenda, it was to be Shalu. That was slightly missed, otherwise you captured it pretty well. So and good job on that, Prosh Master Ravinder. This is like I said, if you bring the bag as well, it'll be easy for everybody to do that. We always do it. Because you always do it, the strength is high. <laughs> Please do it again. Okay, next to, came to Master Shellu as a presenting officer. He introduced guest, told about ninth anniversary. He introduced Source Masters, international to everybody. So again, great job on that. He is provided now. He's done it for six years, six months. And he might do for six more years. It's like six years. <laughs> <laughs> so again, good job on that for Shellu. Usman Joseph is doing this role after I know <laughs> six years maybe. <laughs> but again, great job on this. It shows that he's been to for nine years. It shows shows that. Had humorous start. It was about history of cl our club. Great confidence. Overall, it was very motivational as well. Uh, the best part I like is that we have so many laptops here in this room, right? But this was speaking, everybody shut down and start looking at it. <laughs> Which is a great thing to actually get. Because we can't control people, if they'll use laptop, they have to work, we can't stop that. But you have to speak such a way that whatever you people are doing, they just put their thing aside and listen to you. So Joseph, you did that today. Great job on that. Um, I don't have time anything wrong, except you moved out of the room in between. <laughs> but that was taken up by Shalu, backed up you. You can scratch his back. <laughs> so great job on that. Today we Heard history about Osma, uh, our, our club itself. It would be also great if you show pictures as well of the beginning. If you anybody has that, that would be that will make really good sense. If it's okay, we can do next week again. It's not a big problem. We have Google Photos. We can just do a quick memory check on that. That's all I think. Uh, anything left? Yeah, table topic were really tough today. I think it's really good to do those topics because what I spoke, I know I did a bad job. But we require these kind of bad jobs to improve. Topics are sometimes very easy, sometimes very difficult. Sometimes we just ask here, what did you last weekend? Tell about your last weekend memory, which is not really helpful. So these topics actually make you think on your feet. So good job on that, Tosma Sahakash. It will give a great example and good also learning for the contest coming up next week. This week. This week. <laughs> contest here. <laughs> so all the best to all the contestants who are going there. With that, I'll take a leave and Toastmaster back to you. I feel like all those cameo dancers they come <laughs> went off and they come in when you need a fun thing. So um, thank you so much. Unfortunately, I missed all the speeches. Uh, uh, apologies. I had a meeting with the customer which I couldn't uh, avoid. So coming back to the topic. Make trailblazers great again. I'm not a Trump fan. Please don't uh, <laughs> assume the same. But I think it is. They have done an amazing job. But I think we can do much, much better. So I. This is a call to action that I have. That amazing speakers here, and I want to hopefully hear each and every one of you speak. What I can. What I would like to do as my one simple action is in the next three months at least book three slots. Okay. Either as a uh, do one of the slots has to be a speech. Okay, I'm also going to do this. I pushed myself to do this TMOD because I was feeling very bad that I'm not utilizing this opportunity. I knew that this, this kind of um, issues might come in between that customer visit and customer talks and all will come. But I wanted to make myself push myself to do it. And I want you guys to push yourselves as well. So take three slots in the next three months, at least one per month. I think that is more than enough to start off with. And like I said, if you are not getting your money's worth, please fight for it. If you're not getting a slot here, go outside and take a slot. That's all, all those, uh, the, there are a lot of options available. I know people who have done completely the entire journey outside trailblazers and come back also. That happens. But you have to have that passion. You have to come here for a particular reason, right? You have some goals to meet. 
please plan and make those goals a reality. We are there to help you. I will be there for some time at least. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that I want to do, I will try to contribute more. That is an expectation that I'm trying to put. I'm pushing myself to make sure that I can make yourselves available. I had an idea, if you guys are okay with it, maybe some senior members, we can form small groups and we men, like a mentorship, similar to a mentorship, but a guidance, like get Evo, make sure that they do speeches, make sure that they take up roles and maybe we can have a small competition within some people. Like maybe Naran has a team, you have mommy, Shailu, somebody like that. We can do something like that. Make it more fun. This is not a serious, I don't, I am not coming here to hear, I mean, of course, I'll, I do enjoy some serious, serious speeches, but I want people to have fun. They should feel like, oh yeah, I got to learn something today or uh, okay, that is so amazing. I want to do that. Do, do that. Or you can even see me and say, okay, I don't want to do that. What that guy has done. I want to learn better, be better. So try to be better. Um, over, should I give it to you? over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Joseph, for running the show. Can we have a huge round of applause for the biggest and the strongest player? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> <him>. <laughs> no, <him. laughs> okay, so we have the ballot uh, QR. Please scan it and vote for the best of the show. Uh, guest also encouraged to, you can also do that. All right, so as you all know, this Sunday we are going to have an area contest and from our club, uh, Toastmaster Gopika, Toastmaster Zavi okay, and Toastmaster Sai Akash going to represent our club in uh, evaluation and table topic contest. So it would be great if you all can come. So the registration form has already closed, but uh, I give you a special privilege, ping me, I'll get you entry, <laughs> no worries on that. Uh, yes, uh, I would like to have some feedback from you. Uh, one minute, let me first do voting. Okay. Online? Online guests will be voting. I can't vote. We can do, but that's not it's more good. correct. Wait, you should always know yourself. <laughs> I'm sure politicians vote for themselves. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Eating bird with <laughs> blindfold. Yeah. Maybe eating bird with blindfold. <laughs> okay. So I request everyone to please scan it and do it if you have not done. If it doesn't work, use the URL in the browser. Not it. Tiny.cc slash TTMC by the question. Tiny.cc slash TTMC ballot. Yeah, got it. People are saying ballot as ballot. I saw his name in TT and I am talking about auxiliary rather than I would have seen it. Okay, I can stop here. Okay, so we have uh, we have uh, Kumaran Chakravarti. Kumaran, can you please unmute yourself? I would like to share feedback or how you felt, how you know about Toastmasters. Uh, Kumaran, I'm on mute. You're on mute if you're speaking. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, we have another guest in the meeting. Sir, would you like to please share some of feedback, how you felt towards your first meeting? From there, you can just speak. Uh, yeah, actually, this is the, the first meeting I'm attending. Actually, I was not aware of these kind of meetings. So this is uh, really good. And now I wanted to, you know, to join very soon. 
That's really great. Our VIP membership has an eye on you. Please be aware of that. It's not keep you alone. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Ravinda, do we have all the votes? Yeah. Please share the results. We have 11 responses. And best speaker goes to Toastmaster Karthik. <laughs> And best table topic speaker is Toastmaster Shailu. Oh. And best evaluator, Toastmaster Dinesh. Oh. And best meeting role taker, Toastmaster Sayakash. That's it. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Ravindra. With this, we are about to close our meeting. Thank you so much for joining Fail Business Toastmasters Club. Okay. So, okay. So, as a part of our ninth anniversary, we are going to celebrate. So, I request you all to please be on camera. We'll do a small cake cutting ceremony. And you're going to watch us eat it. <laughs> for that, I would like to call our pillars. The cake has tinted to watch. Leave it. Someone also record a video on. Wayne Pur. Punch in a boat. I don't care about anyway. Looks like. That's the reason. That's the reason it rained and whatever that thing <laughs> happened. Show me. Under the knife. No cake for the baby. Wait, wait, wait. I'll just break it. Tell everybody. Sends up. I'll show some old photographs. If I never take photographs. That's why. No, I whatever's already there and just share that. Very bad at taking photographs. Okay, you know, my photograph, I not have any children. Okay. Something new also. I'll go back to the oldest photo which we have. 2016. This is the first education session which I attended. 2016. This guy Prakash, he won the division contest yeah. for humor speech. Oh, this is Mega, Mega, our second president. Oh. When I joined, she was a she was one of the kids which I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second also. I'm there. Yeah. Sirish also. Where is Joseph? Where is Joseph? Behind the camera. Behind the camera. Yeah. This is a PT. 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 This is my second speech. P1 speech. Nobody laughed at you also. Are you a bit of too young? Sure, nine years. Because of Tosmas, I lost my hair. Uh, is this? He was, she was no, one of the no. team. He says you are not young now. Yeah. You were not young, so you became old. I don't know who she is. <laughs> you can say it seven years ago. Cake oh. quality is pleased. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. What is Koch? Samosa is sick. Oh, Gadi, break your guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's cut the cake. Yeah, okay. Yeah, international. This was international. You guys went on an international trip. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, do the honors. Naran. Naran, 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 Naran sir. Sai, Sai, Sai. Sai, Sai. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, this is a new type of cake called slanted cake. Slanted cake. Squeeze in.
जस्ट मी पहले से हो गया था डिसाइड शॉप सेल्स ओनली अगले स्टेज टू किक्स टू किक्स लेट्स हैव अ पिक एंड आई विल गो इट्स टू मच फॉर मी थैंक यू ऑल ऑनलाइन इज देयर ऑनलाइन यू गाइस यू गाइस डोंट नीड अ पिक या वहां से ही कर लो हां हां अरे हो जाओ सुनिए जाओ सब ओके से नाइन डन एंजॉय गाइस चलो ये लोग भाई ये लोग ये लोग प्लीज